but it's almost a sense of relief. You know, it's, it's um, you know, that it's finally here. You know, that, that what I've, you know, hoped and dreamed for, you know, throughout my career is finally here. And, um, you know, there's not going to be, a, a, you know, anybody on the field that's more ready than I, than I am. Yeah, 16 years in his career, 39 years old. And can I call him a, a World Series rookie then? Is that, well, can I say that? that word said, all right, this guy's been pitching 16 seasons, first World Series, series. The other guy, uh, Bumgarner, is 25. This is his third. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Yep. I know. And so Tim Hudson's going to go up against uh, Stanford alum Jeremy Guthrie. I was looking up Guthrie, and I saw that he pitched at Santa Clara uh, University. And uh, I'm sorry, Stanford. I'm, get, I'm ahead of myself with Steve Nash. Um, so he pitched at Stanford. This guy, as a junior, pitched 13 innings, a, a full game, and a complete game was 13 innings as that, in that case. Yeah, boy, that's uh, how many years ago? No, no, now, though, and, and maybe so, I, I shouldn't say I'm an expert on Jeremy Guthrie, yeah. but 13 innings, they watch you now, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, The yeah. agents even say, hey, you're not going to ruin my kid's arm in college. Uh, absolutely, and this was when he did that. It was just a few days before the draft, and he went on to do it. gave me a good angle. And... If he has a bad night, I'll say, you say I his... have learned, a source <laughs> told me, his arm is 13 tired. innings in it's... college. So it's it's Guthrie against Huddy, as I like to say. Oh, uh, if they need a little relief, I, Bochy says he's he's all ready to turn to Timmy. I, God knows he's not going to go to Strickland, right? Yeah, I, I really think Lincecum's deal. Uh, you know, got five guys out the other night, and it's uh, you know almost by default. You know that that Machi right. rough, right? And the same with Strickland. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised if Lincecum's okay. It's just when you see a guy go out, my gosh, with a back. I mean, he left right in the middle of the inning, but I guess he's okay. Yeah. In fact, it's the back that got Steve Nash. That's how I got ahead of myself. I was thinking, I was thinking Santa Clara, and I, I was thinking of Steve Nash, and it's sad that that's the end of such a great career. Oh yeah. Well, listen, it was either going to be at the end of this year or now, but you, everybody likes to go out on their own terms. Yeah. And uh, you know, the last three years, ever since he went to the Lakers. Uh, you know, he's just been sitting out the whole time. I'll tell you a quick one, though, why, how I remember Steve Nash. Yeah. He's the only guy to do this. His last year in Santa Clara, he a big star, you know, and, and he comes up to do the Sunday night show, and he's down at the restaurant. We used to feed people at the House of Prime Rib in oh. the old days. <laughs> right. And, and all anymore. of a sudden, the basketball game got over early, so, uh-oh, we're going on about 40 minutes earlier than we had told him. Right. So we call down there, and it's a Sunday, and the, the street was packed. So we have a limo. We had a limo deal in those days. My God. So, well, trade out. You right. Know. I mean, then you say, hey, <laughs> brought to you by Mike's Limo right. and all that stuff. So, uh, oh, yeah, it was the old days. So he gets in the car, and the traffic's not moving. He gets out from the House of Prime Rib, which is about six, seven blocks, yeah. long blocks, yeah. and ran to oh. make the show on time. Oh, my God. Now, nobody, I mean, <laughs> nobody does that. No, they blow it off. You know, a million times we have interviews and they just don't show up. They yeah. don't care. So he comes oh in and there he is sweating like hell. And uh, <laughs> you know how you always remember that? Yeah. Uh, just because he said, we said, geez, is there any way, any back streets? And then all of a sudden the limo <laughs> guy goes, he just he's got out of the car. He's running. <laughs> Consummate pro. Steph Curry looks up to him, feels that he's really on the same path, hopes that he is because he has a great career. Steve Kerr talking about yeah. working with him with the Suns. So they're, they're saying it's sad to see his career end well, you like know that. His thing was, too, he looked like a regular guy. Yeah. Almost like Steph Curry. You know, yeah. he's not a big giant. Yeah. You know, he's somebody that people are related to, but a real nice guy and, and uh, uh, once dated Elizabeth Hurley. Oh, really? Yeah, Claimed after to fame? Hugh Grant went nuts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he just, so anyway, he, uh, he'll be fine. He's one of these guys got a lot of interest, so you don't feel sorry for him. It's, you just want to have be able to say, hey, I played my last season. Right. Not I. I couldn't because I was hurt. And if you can't afford to go to the World Series tonight, there is another game. The tickets are way cheaper, uh, and it's uh, college football at Levi Stadium. That's yeah, gonna talk go about playing in the witness protection program. <laughs> yeah, right? I, I, they are. They got 17,000 tickets sold, and I saw them half priced on Groupon. But it's Cal versus Oregon, so it should be fun. The old first uh, college game at Levi Stadium. Yeah, that, that's the thing. You want to make a big deal out of that, and then all of a sudden you got the World Series. So uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> But no, hey, listen, if you're a Cal student or something like that or 
you know, you know big cow back or that, that'd be okay. Or you can't afford the World Series and you just want to go to some big event. I mean, the World Series, seriously, as you know, we're already there. <laughs> we're live yes. at the park. Now, and who's there, Jackie? Oh, yeah, we're, we're all ready to go. And uh, It looks like some cars driving in front of it. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, traffic looks good. I'm talking to George. We're monitoring the situation. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's going to be a zoo. It's oh, yeah, be a zoo. yeah. Now, listen, that's a, that's a pivotal one tonight, Daria. It is. You win to whatever every team wins tonight. I mean, big deal, big prediction here. But whoever wins tonight very well wins the series. You think so? Well, uh, they almost, say game three is the pivotal one. Right. I was going to say almost as important as that first game. But we, well, you know. I don't go for the first game. You, you don't. You don't. No, no. You okay. know why? Why? Because you just that's that's like getting. Uh, I know you want to get the first punch in. Right. But still, uh, uh, ah, heck, you can say the second game. Kansas City didn't win that. They're out of it. Yeah. But, uh, I but, but so every game, like even both. She was laughing yesterday. He goes, you guys keep asking me how big the game is. He goes, you know, I'll say the same thing I've said the last eight games we played. Right. It's important we win tonight. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. And it is important. And we'll watch the games throughout the weekend and talk to you again on Monday. I like here. the live now. That's good. I just saw a truck go by. Catch covered. All right. We'll see you, Gary. All right, Dar.